Okay, so welcome to subtracting integers using number lines. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, adding integers using number lines, I would highly recommend that you start there so that you can get yourself familiar with the method um, because subtracting integers using number lines could be a little more tricky. Um, but here we go. Let's, let's begin. Example number five. So we're just kind of basically carrying over from the adding integers here. Okay, good. we have four examples there. Um, so this is the fifth example in your notes. So we, we're going to start off with positive five, and we're going to be actually let's start with this here. This here is representing an operation. It's subtraction. Um, it could eventually you'll find figure out that this could also be a negative two, so to speak. It's like a positive five plus a negative two, but to make sense of what we're doing here when we're adding and subtracting integers, I want you to see this as an operation and says so this is subtraction. And what really is subtraction? What do you remember about subtraction uh, in your elementary years? It means to take away, doesn't it? It means to take away. Take away. So that's exactly what um, the subtraction is going to refer to. We're going to be starting off with positive 5. And we're actually going to take away a positive 2. Notice how without the operation, it really is just a positive 2 here. Okay? Um, if I advance to the slides here, um, you're going to see that we're starting off at a positive 2 here. And we're taking away a negative 3. We're going to take away a negative 3. So I, if you can see that as a subtraction, I think this number line example is going to make a lot more sense to you. Um, so here we have our traditional number line once again, 0, and to the right of 0 are positive integers, to the left of 0 are negative integers, okay? So we start off with a positive 5. Let's get started here. Positive 5. So positive 5 from 0, we're going to travel 5 steps on a number line to the right. That represents a positive 5 okay now secondly um, if we were adding integers what would we do we would actually add a positive 2 won't we we would actually be adding a positive 2 so um, I'm just gonna represent that positive 2 by showing two steps going to the right okay positive 2. But that positive 2 has been that positive 2 has uh, we're actually taking away the positive 2. So when you when this thing is advancing we start from positive 5, 0 to 5 and then we want to advance two steps more. The problem is we want to it's, um, the operation is calling for it to be taken away. So what you end up happening, what ends up happening is we take this and we're actually pulling it, hold on here, we're actually pulling it back, two steps backwards. In other words, we're pulling it away, we're taking away the positive 2 that was supposed to be there. Does that make sense? Once again, plus 5, think about it in, the, uh, think about it in your elementary years when subtraction was first introduced to you. You take 5, you got 5, and when you take away 2, you're taking away 2 from the 5, aren't you? So you can also think of it that way. We, we start off with the 5, and we're taking away the 2. And so where does that leave us with? We actually ends up leaving us at, let's see here, from the 0, we end up stopping at that 3 mark. Okay? How's the 3? We end up stopping at the 3 mark. And I'll just kind of put that here to show the rest of the line here. Okay? So that's our answer. Pause the 3. Once again, 5, take away the 2, you get 3. Okay? Um, example number 2. Negative 5. Take away a positive 2. Once again, negative 5, take away a positive 2. So we start off with negative 5, which means 
we're going to be traveling five steps backwards. Okay. And so that is represented by a negative five. Now, once again, if we ignored this operation of subtraction and we looked at this to positive two, if we were adding negative five plus positive two, what would we, would we have done? From the negative five, we would have actually added an extra two steps here. We'd have gone two steps to the right. So that's what I'm actually going to show. From here, we're gonna ha we would have gone two steps to the right. Okay? Plus two. But notice how it's subtraction or take away positive 2, right? We're taking it away. So once again, we want to go towards the right. We want to go towards the right, but the take away is forcing us to go backwards. It's pulling us back. We want to go to the right, but it's pulling us back two steps instead. And so that's what we end up with. Um, let me just draw of the full line here. So from zero, we're actually going all the way to negative seven. So maybe I should have added a little subtraction sign here. We're taking away positive two. So um, once again, negative five, zero, go five steps backwards. Um, plus two, we're going to take away the plus two. Here would, here's the plus two, but we're taking it away. And we actually end up at negative seven instead. OK? Um, so let's look at the third example here. Positive two, take away a negative three. Positive two, take away a negative three. So we start off with. Positive 2 from 0 to 2, okay? There's my positive 2. Positive 2. Um, if we were adding a negative 3, what would we have done? Uh, intuitively, you would have actually been going backwards here, three steps. Oops. You would have been going backwards from where we left off. It would have been going backwards three steps here, OK? So that represents the negative 3 that we just performed here. Now, the thing is, we're not adding negative 3. We're subtracting. We're taking away. So once again, we want to take away. So we want to pull it back, so to speak. Uh, and so that's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to be pulling it back. And we're actually taking away a negative 3. So our answer is from the 0, wherever, wherever we ended at, or the, let's see here, the farthest point that's away from 0 is our actual answer here, which is positive 5. OK? So 2, positive 2. We want to take away a negative 3. Here's the line that represents a negative 3 going in the opposite direction. But it got pulled back because we're taking it away. And we end up with a positive 5. OK? Um, example 8. Start off with negative 2. We want to take away a negative 5. OK? So we start off with a negative 2. So from 0, we're traveling two steps backwards. That's my negative 2. And normally, we would be going five steps backwards this way, right? Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. OK, here we go. OK, we would have normally have gone five steps backwards here. Um, but once again, we're taking away negative 5, so we actually need to take this away 5 steps. 
here. So we would actually be doing this instead. And the answer that results is actually different. If we start from zero, the answer is actually this segment here that's remaining. And we're stopping at uh, positive three. Okay, positive three. So to recap, we start with negative two, zero to negative two. We went that one direction. Um, negative five, we're taking away negative five. So normally, if we were adding negative five, we would have gone this way, five steps. But we're taking it away, so we're actually pulling back here by five steps. And it actually crosses the zero mark into the positive part of the number line. And the answer that results is a positive three. Okay? If any of this is confusing, go back to the video, to the uh, beginning of the video, and um, listen to this again. Um, and hopefully it will make sense to you here. All right. So um, I want you to do these three problems using the number line method once again. And um, using the video sample problems as an example and as a model, um, apply that to these three problems here and show it to me tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much.